as the rest of the government officials gathered at Coral Air Strip to celebrate this year's Heroes Day, for the school community of Uganda Matters, Namiyang Junior Boys have used the day to celebrate their own hero. According to the school head teacher, Sister Immaculate Nabukalu, Ethan Charles Mufuma, who emerged the win of the Queen's Commonwealth essay writing competition for the year 2021 when he was only 13 years, is a hero. Today is a very big day for us here at Namiyang Junior Boys. On this Heroes Day, we are celebrating our hero. Ethan Charles Mufuma. Ethan Charles Mufuma won the Commonwealth Essay Writing Competitions. This competition is started in 1883 and for those 138 years, there's no African child who had ever won those competitions. These essay writing competitions are held annually all these Commonwealth countries, there are 54 countries, and all these countries take part. This year, our child, Isan, won the essay writing competitions. He's the first African child to win these competitions. So we as a country, as we celebrate Heroes Day, we decided to celebrate our hero here, Ethan Mumbuma, who has made history in Africa by being the first winner, the first African child junior category to win in this competition. So, so lucky. Sister Nabukalu says these competitions which were started in 1983, had never been won by any African, something which puts Mufuma in a very special place, not only a national, but a continental hero. And we are looking forward to this celebration being recognized by the Ministry of Education and Sports and by the President, because what the child has won is actually very, very important. We are so proud. Other countries have already celebrated this win because this is the first African child. So other African countries have celebrated. And we are calling upon our government also to celebrate this victory. The day started with the mass led by the parish priest of Namidiango Parish, Father Ignatius Chivumbi. By divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Mufuma says it was out of passion he developed for writing that helped him take part in these competitions and due to God's grace, he won this gold category. So my name is Ethan Charles Mufuma and I'm the junior winner of the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition 2021. I am a privileged writer and today I'm celebrating my day as a hero of this great institution, Namiriango Junior Boys School. Today they are celebrating my victory, thanking the Almighty for having led us to this great achievement. He wants his win and hard work to be acknowledged by the Minister of Education and the President of Uganda, Yori Kaguta Seven, as he has always done to the sportsman who wins gold for the country. I want to maybe get the honor of meeting either the president or his wife and we have some dinner and chat and tell them of my writing journey. I want it to go as an inspiration. I want it to go as something to make memories that so many people will look at me, that so many people will be inspired by me, such that you, the president, or the, the first lady will understand the meaning of writing. So many talents are shuttered down. Very many people out there want to also have this achievement goal. But when I meet you, their desire to participate in this competition will be risen. You shall use my figure to raise a voice, to raise something that will open up minds of millions out there so i plan and it's it is a humble request and a humble prayer that i meet the president inshallah and his wife and we have a chat and tell them of this inspirational journey that i may also feel the honor he has recited a verse from his award-winning poem 
which he named Okware, our pandemic epic. And I'll just say a few lines of my beautiful piece that makes me wonderful. Okware, our pandemic epic. Welcome to my village, no but not much. The village of Okware, Okware, our pandemic hero. Okware, our pandemic hero. Whose story's sweetness deserves every commonwealth here, ear to the ground, I shall narrate it all. Okware! It's interpreted by the police, arrested and accused of politics that he was carrying out campaign. But even in prison, Okware kept to the reason, taught and urged his inmates about the pandemic. And guess what? This prison turned a pandemic school. Susan Wamara Serunkuma, the chairperson of the Mukono Mutswate Health Teachers Association, has also asked government to start recognizing winners like Mufuma, saying this will also encourage others. It is such a privilege to have him express his talent of writing. Since 1883, we understand the has it has never been won by any African person. And here comes this child boy, an African boy from Mokono, winning the Commonwealth essay, the Queen's Commonwealth essay. I'd like to call upon the Ministry of Education to have a special recognition for this boy and also the government of Uganda. I think today he's really a hero. He's worth celebrating today. And I want to thank the school for choosing this day to celebrate this boy. Uh, this is an inspiration to all the, the children in the schools in Uganda, how they can express their talents through writing. And most of uh, schools do not have such clubs. I would encourage them to create these clubs because it's through these clubs that the children can express their talents. Juret Nasubuga, one of the judges of the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Writing Competition, has highlighted the reason for these oldest competitions, which invite participants from all the Commonwealth countries. The Queen's Commonwealth Writing Competition is one is the oldest school competition that was started in 1983 and it takes place annually, taking on learners from the age of the age of 7 to 18, the junior category and the senior category. The purpose of this essay competition is to nurture and to develop the creative writing, the creative writing skills of talented of learners. It also looks out to give a voice to young people, to the youth, to air out their opinions, their experience, their dreams and their goals. And this is done through uh, empowering or celebrating achievement or recognizing achievements. Where when these learners participate in the competition, they are awarded certificates, they are awarded the bronze, silver, and gold medals. At the same time, the overall winner is awarded with a, a round trip to, 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 to UK fully sponsored by, by the Commonwealth. I feel the Ministry of Education, Mama Janet, and probably the, the President himself should meet him, recognize him, give him that national ovation like they give the Kishwati. You know, today we are, we are, the country is devoid of writers. The writing skill is not something that is considered so much in our country today. But someone at his age of 13, coming out as founding, giving the pearl of Africa, Uganda, that glory in its national celebration. That today, even as they were celebrating the heroes of the country, our heroes are not only the soldiers, they are not only the politicians, but we have academicians that have flagged the map of the Uganda, have flagged the Uganda to the global Father Gerard Wenvu, the Lugazi Diocese Education Secretary, has asked Sister Nabukalu to make sure that on a diocesan level, 
They also start this kind of writing competitions to help other pupils also gain the writing skills. If I mean success, of course it makes us proud. He's happy as an individual, but we are happy as the education department. He's our son who had gone through one of our schools, that is Nandiyano Junior Boys. So we congratulate him and we happy. But also, as we visit the ICC and education department, we would love that what we have seen, what is done at the global level, the Commonwealth competition, we want to copy it and bring it, we localize it in the diocese. So that uh, other schools that are not privileged, like Namibia and Junior Boys, can also, at least at the local level, compete and we can see talents coming and see new writers and easily identify new young girls and boys coming on board as writers and trying to expose their talents. Imran Ugera, we are greatly honored to hand over the certificate to you. Thank you for being This is the certificate for Michael Victor Ugera. Great honor that you received this certificate on this behalf. Thank you, Anthony. To see these boys, how their parents have developed. Don't you think we deserve a thank you? They can help me, Sam. Do you need a thank you from Bonifaz? I love that. You?